this is Mr. Dave from the National Museum of Nuclear Science and History. As you can see, today I'm not actually at the museum. I am here in my home. Uh, we are practicing safe distancing at the museum, so these videos for this next little while are going to be coming from my house here. This is our All Atomic series, and we're going to switch things up just a little bit, uh, and we're going to take it to uh, things that you can teach atomic and you can teach nuclear uh, to your kids or you can learn it as a family. And we're going to start very simple uh, with concepts that uh, even the little guys can maybe understand and comprehend and that the older guys will hopefully get a little bit deeper science out of. Okay, so our first one, this one here today, is going to be called, What is an Atom? Okay, uh, it seems like a pretty simple question. Uh, you Have you ever seen an atom? Well... Mm, yeah, but you've seen a lot of them all at once. You can't see one little atom, it's a tiny little thing. Uh, but you can see a group of atoms because, well, that's me or that's you or whatever it is you're looking at. So, an atom is kind of the building block of everything, okay? Uh, and it's kind of like if I were to take this Lego, okay? Um, if you have a Lego, if, if your kids have Legos or, or parents, I mean, we play with them too, you know we do. Uh, so if you've got some Legos at home, this is a fun way of showing what is an atom. Now, one of these Legos are we can compare to one atom, okay? We can say, okay, well, I've got an atom here. Now, when you are playing with your Legos, whether it's kids or adults or whatever, uh, I got this bin here, this is from my daughters, um, and so I got this bin of Legos. Is this the way that happens at your house? Okay, you say, hey, I'm gonna go play with some Legos. So you go to go play with some Legos, you say, yeah, I got Legos, Legos, yeah, Legos, 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 and yeah, oh, and then you find your favorite Lego, and you're like, yay, Lego, Lego. Okay, I got my Lego, I'm gonna play with my Lego. Yay, Le Lego, right? No, because if you only have one of those Legos, there's not too much you can do with it. Now you can put it on the ground so your parents step on it, don't do that. Uh, but you can do a lot of things like that, but not really make anything with just one Lego. It's the same way with an atom, okay? An atom is a building block. It's that little bitty thing uh, that makes up everything else. Now, even an atom is comprised of, of separate parts, and we're gonna get to that in a minute, but we're gonna talk about that one Lego and what happens if you get one Lego and you add more Legos and you begin to build something with it I'm gonna have my daughter Charlotte show you real quick. Now that we understand about that building block, we're gonna take it a step smaller and show you just a little bit about the parts that make up the atom. Now we're gonna just take it one step down because if you go smaller into quarks and all those kind of things, that's later. But now we're just gonna go to that regular structure of the atom and the atom has three parts. It has protons, which have a positive charge, neutrons, which don't have a charge, and electrons that have a negative charge, okay? Now when I say charge, it's kind of like magnets. Uh, if you've ever played with the magnets, you're like, yay, magnets are fun. But uh, if you have two magnets and you were to have the positive here uh, and the negative here, they would attract. Uh, and if you had two magnets with the negative here and the negative here, they would repel, right? Or a positive and a positive. And so that's how that atom uh, is structured is with positives, negatives, and neutrals. Okay. In the inside, when we talk about nuclear, we're talking about the nucleus of the atom. The inside is the nucleus. That's that inside part of the atom. Okay. Uh, and then you have the electron that goes around the outside. Now the nucleus has protons, which are positive, and neutrons, which are neutral. Okay. The electrons going around the outside are negative. Okay. So you have your, your positive, your neutral, and your negative. Okay, now we've got a fun way that you guys can kind of uh, work at home and make some atomic structures. And what we're gonna do that with is, in my case, because at my house, what I had uh, was gummies, right? You know, like fruit snacks. Mm -hmm. uh, so you're gonna use some fruit snacks. You're going to use some skewers, okay? Uh, if you've got them, if not, you can use toothpicks, you can use wire, you can use whatever you have. Uh, don't go to the store to buy stuff. The whole point is using things you've got at home right now. Uh, so you can use skewers or toothpicks. Uh, and I also did use some toothpicks uh, to make that nucleus, okay? So we're gonna start with a very simple or the simplest of atoms, okay? Uh, and what I did 
was I took some tape, okay? Uh, and on my tape, I wrote plus, which is gonna be for positive. I wrote minus, which is gonna be for negative. And I wrote zero, which is gonna represent neutral, okay? So what you can do, uh, I wrote them kind of big just so you can see them on the video there. Uh, and for this one here, we're gonna make a hydrogen atom. Okay, so we're going to model a hydrogen atom because it's very easy to model a hydrogen atom because a hydrogen atom only has really two parts. Okay, you have an electron, okay, which in this case is green. Uh, in a minute, I'll use yellow for electrons. So whatever color you decide. Okay, so we'll stick that on there. There's our electron. Okay, and that's going to go around the outside of our nucleus. Okay, and the nucleus in this case if we have that negative out there, we know that if we're going to have a neutral atom, okay, meaning it's balanced, it's neutral, we've got a positive. So our nucleus in this case is positive. We have one proton, one positive proton, and then we have that one electron, and this gives us a hydrogen atom. It's very simple. Uh, that nucleus, that little electron goes around that little uh, proton that's on the inside, so we have a positive. We have a negative, okay? This is a simple or the simplest uh, of our all of our little atoms there. If you look on the periodic table, you'll see it way over there. Uh, and that's because we've got one, okay? So one electron and one proton makes up a hydrogen atom. So what I've done here is I've already modeled an atom. Now, what I did was I put down in the description of this video kind of a test, okay? Now, it's not really a formal test, but I did put some questions for you guys if you're watching this video at home so you can kind of take this a little bit further and it can give you some ideas of activities to do. And in that, what I have you guys doing uh, is modeling a lithium atom. Oh, now we can see that this one here is a little bit more complex, okay? Uh, I used yellow gummies for my electrons, okay? Those electrons that are around the outside. Now, they'd be all around, but it's easier to hold for the video this way. Uh, so our electrons that are out here are the negative that's going around the outside. And on the inside of this lithium with this particular isotope, uh, we, you're going to see that we've got some positives and some neutrals, okay? So the little neutrals, my green ones there, We've got four of them, uh, and, and like say, you can have three or four depending on your isotope. Uh, and then this one here, we have some positives, which are our reds. So our nucleus, this inside part right here, uh, is the center of the atom, and our electrons are going around the outside, okay? So our negatively charged electrons would be going around the outside, uh, and our nucleus of positively charged protons, no charge neutrons, are in that nucleus on the inside. And so this is what makes up an atom, okay? Like I said in the description down there, I've got some questions and some ways that you guys can make these at home. Uh, like I say, hey, I don't have gummies, I have gum drops or I have chewed up gum or whatever. Uh, use what you have at home right now. Uh, don't worry about making a trip to the store. Uh, you can find something and you can start structuring those atoms. Now, if you wanna look up on Google or on whatever, uh, you can look up structure of the atom and you can find different atoms with different structures and you can create different structures of atoms uh, and then you can take them to crazy chemicals and things like that from there uh, but i wanted to give you kind of a base starting point so if you look down in the description there i've got some questions now if you guys can answer those questions in the comments uh, if you can give me the answers to some of those questions i may give you a little shout out on one of our future videos so I want you guys to take this, answer those questions the best you can, uh, and if you can put those in the comments for this video, we may give you a shout out. Now, when you're at home making all these kind of wonderful things, it's a good time to kind of think about, okay, we've got math, okay? Uh, how many protons, how many neutrons, things like that. Uh, what happens if we uh, take one away, if we change that atom, uh, do we have a negatively charged? Uh, atom? Do we have a neutrally charged atom? Do we have a positively charged atom? Uh, and what happens when we change that on the atom on the inside? And what happens when we change that atom on the outside? Those are all things that you can look up to kind of extend this a little bit further. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, this again is Mr. Dave from the National Museum of Nuclear Science and History. Uh, make sure you guys like and subscribe and wash your hands.